Greetings and welcome back to the Talos Principle. So we are right here where we left off and um, I actually reviewed a bit of the footage from the last episode. Um, most interestingly this runs a lot smoother than it did with um, in Verbis Virtus. So um, it is, I think it's programmed a little bit uh, better, more slick, uh, you could say. Um, I already pointed out that the details get blurry in the distance, so it doesn't require as much computing power as, for example, in Verbis Virtus, which was incredibly detailed and beautiful to look at, but um, for my PC it wasn't uh, the best things together with recording. So, um, yeah, right now we need more of the sigils, the Tetris tiles, for the door right here. Last time we already got that one. Over there, uh, that yellow one we don't need yet. So um, let's go to the to a few other green particles. So uh, let's get that one here. A switch out of reach. So let's always look a bit around us uh, if we find some more codes. Hmm. Now the question is, can that thing hurt us through uh, the fence? Nope, it doesn't see us. Okay, that's a good thing. Nothing here. Trying to check uh, quite thoroughly. Okay, run through here. Uh, so, ooh, there is a switch. Okay, cool. Okay, no, 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 no. Um, hello. Okay, there is the sigil we need. I think we need to get around that corner there to uh, get to this switch over here. Okay, there is a jammer, that is good. Um, there's nothing here. Hmm. Anything here? No. How about here? Anything worth our interest? Nope. Sorry, I'm actually... Yeah, let's put down sensitivity a bit more. Ah, now it should be a little bit easier for you to see because uh, one thing I noticed in my footage that um, yeah, it looked uh, quite fast. Uh, we, we're jamming that one, so we can go here now. Nothing there. Yeah, but now I can hopefully press the switch. There we go, and now we can take the jammer with us. Awesome! Okay, um... Well, the puzzles aren't very sophisticated yet, but uh... Okay, I can't jam the thing through the fence either. Wow. Yeah, let's jam that thing before it hurts us. Okay. Are there any more codes on the walls? Nah, doesn't seem so. Oh, let's... Let the jammer be here for now, and we got another sigil. Cool. Yep. Ah, and we can go here again. Okay. Well done, child. Ooh. Only one more sigil is needed. Hmm. All right. I don't know. This voice seems kind of trustworthy, right? I have no idea. Okay, let's get to the next one then. Which is, um, yeah, one of those apparently we need, so it doesn't matter which one we take. Right, outnumbered. So we got a laser thing there and a sphere. A death sphere. Ah. Okay. No codes, nothing of particular interest. Ah, there is a jammer. Come here now. 
So, I have to go... Oh, my. I have to get through here. There is a sphere. And there is one of those. Okay. Not very nice. But, oh well. Okay, and I can't go anywhere else. So, yeah. We can go here, though. Okay. Which doesn't do anything. Hmm. Okay, um... Oh! Let's jam that. Take that back, because now the sphere is locked out. And jam this. Haha! -ha! I am good. Ha! Now the sphere wants to get back in. Well, that was easier than I thought, and... Now we got the last sigil we need. Doot doot! My temple awaits you, child. Oh, Go it forth. Does. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. Uh, I didn't check particularly for any codes, but there are none. Okay. Right. Let's get back. Move faster by holding left shift. Yeah, I know. Um, I think I will gather the last one as well. Uh, but first, sorry, I need to take a small sip of water. Ah, that's better. Refreshing water. Mm. Okay, let's start that. Striding My child, beaten path. You do not need to collect all sigils at once. You are free to return to this place whenever you choose. Okay, um, I take that as a hint that we will get something before we continue. Hmm, let's see. Oh, right, uh, wrong direction. There we go, we need that. Use. Oh, and now it's like 10 gram, okay. Okay, that was easy. Oh, and the sigils are now um, used, so we can't use them anymore. And there are more codes. My eyes have been opened. This world is not without order. It is shaped by a great designer with, with signs and portents to guide my steps. I am one of his children, and challenges are set before me to test my faith. And the other one? Whatever the end goal of this grand challenge is, it's far out of reach. Knowing that, how are we supposed to resist distraction? Okay, interesting. Uh, well. Now what? Thank you. Um, apparently one of my computer's built-in programs uh, from Alienware decided to give me a little black screen. I don't know if it's on recording, if so, Sorry, <laughs> it was out of my power to uh, decide that. Hey, not again. Bleeding thing. Okay. Okay, so we we have an old PC right here. Before I try that, I will uh, scavenge the area for more QR codes. Little bits of information. Nope. That is one of the spheres. Okay. Nah, nothing. Okay. Let's see then what the computer has in store for us. Use. Loading library session. Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Well, uh, hi. Library archive session ready. I th there is a command, I think. I am not good with DOS or anything. Let's do the hello world. Aww. Help. 
Oh, that is nice. List display of unavailable open run MLA. Ah. Hello, guest. How can I help you today? Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> know what I'm stay saying? Understand is a strong way to put it, but yes. Oh, I'm impressed. What was the first word of the last sentence you wrote? Okay, now we're getting a little bit metaphysical. I'm only able to process and respond to basic subject, ver ver verb, object, syntax. Okay. Nah, describe your functions. We don't want to uh, dispute with that. The Milton Library system is designed primarily to sort and classify data in the library archive. Secondarily, it facilitates user interaction with library resources via uh, an intuitive human language interface. It also provides powerful networking and troubleshooting functions. Hmm. No, we don't want to do that. How old are the library archives? What are these terminals? How long has this system been running? What's the current status of the library archive? How old are they? Data uh, 203F um, does um, well 203F is that in like um, hex so uh, times 16 I don't know are you able to take offense? How long has the system been running? What is the current status? Okay. How long has the system been running? Ah, uh, okay. For many, 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 many years. Okay. What are these terminals? Okay, well, okay. What is the current status? Ah, uh, there are a lot of resources, a lot of bytes here. Okay. Well. I, f I think I found somebody's porn stash. And that was a totally lame joke. I apologize for that. Anyways, yeah, a lot of photos, um, HD video, the entire internet in 2003. Oh, so it is, it is, it is somebody's porn stash indeed. <laughs> However, the major majority of library resources are corrupted or invalid. Ah, only 10.7 gigabytes of, co uh, oh. Only 10.7 gigabytes of uncorrupted resources are left. So, yeah, I don't think we can access the, the HD videos. Huh. What caused the data corruption? Progressive data corruption is inevitable in any system over time. Additionally, a large number of inconsistencies were detected during sorting, leading to greater than average data invalidation. Mm -hmm. Data library. Can you respond to queries on the outside world? My knowledge is limited to the data in the library archive. You can ask about other topics, but my responses may be limited. Hmm. Who is Elohim? That is a good question. Elohim is the noun for God or gods in modern and, modern and ancient Hebrew. Ah, okay. What am I? But what is it? <laughs> You're locked in with a guest account. Well... Okay, where am I? You are currently in a support session with the MLA Human Language Interface module. The library archive session may be resumed at any time. Are you able to take a phone to count pointless contraption? You cannot insult me. <laughs> uh, burned by a library helping system. Okay, that was list. Oh, Athena 6 TXT. What do we have here? Chapter 6 Athena in the Garden of Hesperides. Well, I did not trust them, but they moved with such grace, such nobility, that it was hard not to follow them further into the strange garden of geese and cocks. They led her to a place where the crowns of the brass trees seemed to grow together, forming a kind of chamber, strangely reminiscent of a chapel. In the middle of this chamber grew a smaller tree, made of bright blue steel, and upon this tree grew a single golden apple. This apple, the nymphs said in Unision, 
their eyes aglow, confers the gift of deathlessness and true wisdom. Many heroes and not a few villains have come to claim it, but all faltered in the final step. For you must know that deathlessness reveals the mortality of the world and true wisdom its unending folly. Who would take this burden upon them themselves? Some say that Heracles F now gazing upon the stars and wept. Okay, so um interesting. I think uh, this garden where we're in right now uh, might be referred to some ancient Greek mythology. Interesting. Okay, what can we do as well? How about the welcome EML? From Nadia Zarabai at Institute for Applied N. Whatever. Uh, welcome to the team. Hi again. I'm sorry if I was a little odd at the meeting. I know you were nervous, but the truth is that so was I. This may be hard to believe, but you intimidate me. You're so young and you've already accomplished so much. If the situation wasn't so grim, I might even be jealous. There's also something I wanted to clarify. I realize that, nominally speaking, I'm head researcher here. But this is your project and everyone will respect that. And yes, I know, you're not used to working like this. But as of today, you're in charge. No pressure. <laughs> Let's do this, Nadia. Okay. Seems like a nice person. Figure it out, EML. The way I see it, the world doesn't come with a manual. You gotta figure it out for yourself. A bit here, a bit there, put it together, try to make sense of it. I'm pretty sure there is a truth, but that doesn't mean everyone who claims it to know how it really does. Then again, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. We live in an amazing world and searching for the truth can be a real adventure. Plus it's good for the brain. Anyway, just some rambling thoughts from your old man. Don't let this stuff get you down. You're young, you've got... You're young, you've got loads of time to figure it all out. Love, dead. Hmm. Well, is this posted to us? I ask myself. Hmm. Interesting. I think... Yeah, this, this might actually be to us. Ah. Anyways, before we go any deeper into this, I would say let's end the episode right here and continue on this uh, terminal in a bit. So, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And I hope to see you next time as well. So, until then, yours faithfully, the Pestafarian.